summer day, right? Um, just to remind everyone, it is a construction, active construction site. So try to stay out of their way, watch your feet. Um, there is cement and some other things being poured today, so everything should be great. The purpose again today was just giving an update. We're nearing the uh, fourth quarter of this project. Um, continue to be on time and on budget, but now that you can actually see these elements coming out of the ground, we wanted to give um, the elected officials who blessed this project the opportunity to ask questions and, and any, any direction you want to know from where we're going from here, we'll get that done today. So we have on the construction team, we have Scott Meredith from Polisani, we have uh, Dave Vivio from O'Brien, we have Don Jewett from M.K. Eske, the designer, any design questions, we can funnel to him, and then as always, you know, Chris Becker from Plant Moran Press, uh, they've been our owner's all. rep, and they've been with us from the very beginning, doing the initial facilities analysis of the old buildings, where we determined um, that we needed to build new, both responsibly, um, and so that we could create a, a project like this. So I hope everyone enjoys their day today. I don't think it'd be more than an hour. And uh, Representative we, Allison, you always have the floor. Can we write our name in the fresh concrete? And the fresh concrete. Not today, but there may be an opportunity for that later. Brandon's got a hat. In the dirt. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> so we're going to cross right over here, and, and there's a hole in the fence that uh, Colasani made for us, so we won't have to scale it today. <laughs> um, but one of the things we did ask Colasani O'Brien to do is stake out where the old memorial was located. If you see that stake with the pink ribbon on it, that's the location of the old memorial. Um, and we know we moved it roughly 60 feet just to the east. But just to give you an idea of where we're at, and you can really see how easy access to it is, how it really um, sets up well, and how this portion of the park really comes together. Is that the center of the memorial? Yes. Yeah. 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 And, and, you know, <coughs> You can also see the things that would have to come out of the way, um, which that is a large concrete bench with a very large foundation underneath it also. Um, but you can also, what really looks nice is how the library platform now, you can really see how that's coming together. Um, in the next day or so, they will pour that top layer too. Um, but you can see how it really lends itself to, you know, when you have something out here, it's a nice place to stand, sit, whatever's needed. Um, you know, Don, standard concrete. Is everyone able to hear that? I didn't. <laughs> it does have a definite score. Okay. okay. So it's not just concrete, it's got a pattern to it, but it is, yeah. And throughout the park, you've got the exposed aggregate, we'll walk on it. Chad, could you put out what's left to do on the memorial? There's some cobblestones. Yeah, there's cobblestones, there's benches that go on these small slabs that are recessed right here, and there's cobblestones. There's still some planting. It's not a good idea to do that, but we understand that this area may want to get done anyway. So I think that's still the debate on the table. Um, but yeah, there's all kinds of ground cover. There's sod that goes in the panels here yet, so that'll all be done on the week in the next couple weeks. Yeah. I, I think it's like the first time this memorial's been accessible 365 days a year because before you know it had grass in front of it and it had steps that led to snow this can be all this and this is lit at night so you can see it at the evening the flags will be lit for the first time ever in the evening so i think that's the most exciting thing about it is now in february now in february So we will have um, a code compliant handrail up there for probably a couple of months before the final rail comes in. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, and, that's uh, great. You know, that, that's the route to go so we can open it up. But the library platform will be the last thing that we finish. The other thing I wanted to point out, too, because there's a lot of talk about this being a food truck rally, there is no entrance there. There's a curb and ground. Yeah. Only pedestrians can yeah, walk up there. I don't know where the idea is that we can Oh, I think there's a lot of ideas that come out of nowhere. Farmers market idea. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's no, there's no. It was never designed. We did, we out. did increase the thickness of the concrete right here, all the way down to Second Street for maintenance. I mean, for maintenance yeah, okay. trucks. For and, and and when you gotta, you know, bring the bobcats across to clear snow or whatever. So we did increase the thickness of concrete right here to seven, from five to seven inches to handle the load. Pretty much like you see downtown with the bobcats yeah. that do yeah. the sidewalks. Yeah, this is snow, exactly snow, what snow we'll be doing here. All that stuff, yeah. So what will be in this area? Just, just sod, grass? Yes. <laughs> Also, though, you take another one, we also laid out 12, 12 by 15. And a layout to go 12 by 15. So you can see how much bigger it is, and that may be the direction you want to go when it comes to, uh, you know, like a family, a family one, one room uh, restroom. And it has a little canopy off the front. Um, <coughs> So, you know, they can, someone can come and they're kind of out of the rain. But my understanding, and I, I know Judy has said it often, is it's really not just a restroom, but it's a place for kids to change that want to come play in the water feature, which is right over there. And I think the question is, is, is it a all year round facility or do we just kind of design it, build it for, you know, the summer when you get peak traffic and you have the slack pad on it? I think you were, you were looking in the way we had saw it at one time was um, to go um, spring to fall, not in the winter. Is that really up to the cost of the maintenance? Yep. Yeah. And you got to heat it, you got to heat it year round so you can leave it open. Is it really planned, is it really planned to be useful in the winter? And that's, that's really a decision you need. To, to, to look at, but obviously the costs go up significantly if you plan on not just for building it, but like you said, out there, the, the maintenance and uh, the handling of it. And then the look of it, it doesn't have to be a bathroom, it can be a piece of art, you know what I mean? We can make it look really beautiful and nice, I hope to design it integrated into the park. I, I, so it's not like cinder blocks and, uh, you know, a toilet stack. If you guys, you guys have been in the police station and we've used burnished block yeah. in the police station, and it's a really nice finished block, and that was one of the things that we talked about to use for it. So it doesn't look, you know, just like a painted uh, masonry unit uh, restroom. And then on the outside, you know, I don't know if you any probably have ideas, but you know, I love foliage and everything like that. They get really like everything, like green roof, green wall. Hobbit house. Yeah, Hobbit House. I love it. There you go. Oh boy. <laughs> you guys are up really Anything you want. <laughs> 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 
That's that's the part of that's it. That's the bottom line. Uh, it was a well-designed restroom, small but very expensive because it had and it did have in-floor heat. Yeah. So that was one that was much more for year-round, and I I'm not sure that's what you want. But you need to take well, we'll take yeah. We're gonna we're be you know good decision making. Sometimes is pushing off a decision till you can sharpen your pencil a little bit more and uh, you know figure out what's best. And now that we see everything coming together, it's probably appropriate that. We take the time to, to rethink the element given um, what we can even see today and when the things finish. So it's a good move. I, I, we're okay with it. This is park isn't here for next week, it's here for the next hundred years. So we have an opportunity to see how the park flows. Yeah. Well, exactly. If, if there's one thing that on, on the construction side to try to push it a little better, if we can make a decision on at least size um, and we can get the foundation in now then you're not digging a hole in a new park. If we can get the foundation in, and then you can come in and build on top of that, it, it will be better for next spring. And that's what I'm talking about, yeah. building next spring. So that's one of the thoughts that we have, is let's, if we make the decision and move forward, let's get the foundation in now while we're in this condition. So so we're not having to you know mess around. Uh, we, we have utilities stubbed in and ready to bring to the location. Right. It'll be here. Yeah. And that's really where, where we're And then we're really underneath. We're right under, right outside of the drip line of the